good evening. You join us by happenstance on Father's Day. Oh, look at that cute little card there. Lovely. Right, I did a pizza upload of a couple of photos earlier and a lot of people say, wow, they look awesome, easy to make, how do you do it? Yes, they're easy to make, you just gotta get a couple of steps um, sorted really, and they're not complicated steps. So, personally, for me, life's too short. I just buy in the uh, the pizza dough ready-made. So here's one example of it. This is something like, I think it's £2.30. You'll get enough for four. You get four of these in it. It comes like this. So you roll it out and you can cut it into four like that. And in that, you also get one of these. It's your tomato base. So what I do is, I've got one of these little gizmos, I tip it in there, and then for me, I like my pizza bases to have um, oregano and have smoked paprika in it. Now, I've done something a little bit different this time because I've added some, um, this is some homemade curry uh, flavoring. Uh, so I'm very excited to see how this one turns out. So, what do we do? Well, we cut that out. Make sure if you're doing anything to do with um, pizza bases, loads of flour, don't be shy. So sprinkle that on the board. Now, what I've done is uh, I've got, this is a, a, a paddle of sorts. It's part of the Weber kit. You get this and a stone together, um, which is perfect because it means that if it fits on here, it's going to fit on the stone. So these little, I might cut these little corners off because they're only going to burn because they're overhanging. But this has been floured. Then I place this on top. Then I'm going to put um, everything on here. Uh, and then I'm going to put it onto the preheated barbecue now. So to talk through this, you put some of your tomato onto it, but it's only a light smear. As you, if you look at this, you'll see that it's not it's not been put on like wallpaper paste. It's kind of like been put on and kind of smeared around the place. So there's not masses and masses. I've put. Um, some dried uh, cured meat on there, uh, some speck from the Alps, delightful. So this is what it is, um, and I've, I've just cut that up to put on there. What you've got to remember is a good pizza, homemade pizza, it's gonna take you about four minutes to cook it. Okay, so anything you put on the top has to have been pre-cooked. So you won't be putting any raw um, things on there. For example, if you want onions on there, fry them up first and then put them on. So I've got my base on there. I've got some uh, some meat on there. I've put I've chopped up some sun dried tomatoes. I've chopped up some black olives. I've put a little bit of um, parmesan cheese on there. Uh, some grated and some flaked. Um, and then once it's cooked, I'm going to be putting some. Um, some basil uh, just on the top. But again, you're only limited by your imagination. You know, I've got some uh, roasted peppers here, some goat's cheese, stuffed peppers. Might cut those up and put them on. Could put a little bit of feta on there. Um, the world's your oyster. I'm famous for my odd combos, but I never made anything I didn't like to eat anyway. Right, let's sign off and get into position to put this little rascal on the BBQ. Okay, we're set up. The temperature gauge just after 300 degrees centigrade. So it's around 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we've got, there's the pizza stone. Remember we were saying about the flour? The flour is our friend. The flour stops it from sticking. Now the fun bit. Oh, there we go. Probably a more elegant way of doing that, but I'll figure that out at some time later. So again, just to remind you, don't be putting loads and loads of toppings on there. But let's close it up. Let us do its thing. See you in three minutes. Now don't forget, you like what you see, you like it. Subscribe to it, share it with all your barbecue buddies.